Yo, welcome to the simple daily crafting guide. Let me start this video by saying that this is by no means the only things that are time gated. There are other items that can be crafted once a day, some that do yield some money, but I find these are the most simple to craft and they're always used for more future skins or to craft ascended armor or you could just sell it for profit. These are the most basic ones I feel everyone should be doing easily. Also, this is not a guide on how to level your crafting. This video is pretty much going to assume you've already been at least level 450 in your disciplines, or you're someone who is new to the game and wants to know what to do once you finish your Ascended Crafting, or you just reached Ascended Crafting and you want to know what it is or what it's about. So that's what this is. So with that out of the way, uh, let's get to crafting. All right, so this is where I'm gonna craft. It doesn't matter where you are when you want to do this, you just need the tables. I'm just choosing a place out here because I like to be different. There's not a lot of people here, it's not crowded. So, there are four daily materials that are crafted through Ascended Crafting. Glob of Elder Spirit Residue, which I don't have, which I have over here. Glob, glob of Elder Spirit Residue. Lump of Mithrilium, the Spool of Thickalonian Cord, and then the other one is back over here. The Spool of Silk Weaving Thread. So, when you hover over an item, you can see the professions that use it. Like, this is Armorsmith, Artificer, Huntsman, jewel, Jeweler, Leatherworking, Tailor, Weaponsmith. Um, I have Leatherworking and Weaponsmith and Huntsman, so those are the tables on this character I can craft. I have four licenses on my character, so I have four professions. But between these two, I can craft all of them. So yeah, uh, if you need to find them fast, you can just type in like Ectoplasm Re for refinement, and it will pop up right here. So, uh, you want to do this, so I'll tell you right here, you can only craft this item once per day. Um, the way you actually get this recipe is as soon as you reach, like in this case, uh, once I reached 450 in leatherworking, I just instantly learn the recipe. You don't have to do anything, it just comes with it. So, uh, we do the craft. It takes a little bit longer to signify that it's important. Ding! There, I got my mithrilium. And see, now it tells you that it goes on a timer. That's reset. Uh, you can only craft one of these a day. Thing with this, so we're going to craft it. Uh, one of each of these a day. And they reset exactly on daily reset. So a thing you can technically do, if you're lucky, if you have just enough time, uh, let's say it's five minutes before reset, you can craft these items, and then right after reset, you can craft them again. Um, again, that'd be it for the day, and you'd have to wait till the following reset, but you can do that. It's not based on 24 hours since you craft it, it's just based on the overall time of the world, the reset of the server. Um, so yeah, so those are those three things. Let's just go over here. Now, what you, whichever ones you go to might be slightly different because you will have different professions. But ultimately, it's the same deal. You'll just go, you want to craft all four of these. Boom. And here we go. So these are the, the four ascended. Now, the reason why you want to do this is, one, you can only make one a day. So that instantly makes it have value. Two, you can't sell these. These are account. Um, so that gives them more value as well. And the point of it is that these can be used to upgrade. You'd upgrade them into higher things that actually require them, like ascended gear, um, things like that. And like this, like Elonian leather squares. What that requires spools of thick Elonian cord. So you can flat out buy like the actual end item, the 420. Hey, um, the Elonian leather square, like. Or, but you can you can buy it flat out, or you can craft it, which will always be cheaper. And this is one of the biggest expenses is that daily item, which you can make every day easily enough. Um, let's say you're trying to make one of those things, and let's say you just didn't have enough materials to do it. You can always just buy it. It's almost always worth it to just buy what you need to catch up to finish to craft it. Um, if you're wondering, oh, where do I get the thir this, these reagents, these th thermomatic reagents? Well, you can get them literally from any of the trainers. You just talk to them, boom, and you can get the stuff from them. So they have it. That also gives things value because it has a set base uh, that everything costs. So yeah, so that's four. But this video says five. 
So what's the last thing? Well, the last thing, if you've seen, um, is not so much crafting, it's not a profession, but I don't know where else to put this, so I'm putting it here. Um, you want to take these 25, you want to take 25 quartz crystals, and you want to turn them into charged quartz. Um, you need 25, it tells you right there on the item itself. But what exactly is a place of power? Uh, places of power are hero challenges that you do out in the vanilla world. Or actually, any, I don't think it has to be vanilla world, but out in the world. Um, I have a pro, I have one that I, you can, you can always go to the one in your home instance if you have a home instance. Um, I have an easy one that I always go to, it's a personal preference, but uh, I'll show you now, so. Maybe over here. Maybe it's because I was a human, this was like a starting area, but. Any, any hero challenges where you need to channel will work. Uh, you just commune with it again, and if you have 25 crystals in your bag, it will know and it will say, oh, do you want to do this? And you want to say yes. You'll do a little channel animation. And then, then you'll get that, the charged, charged quartz crystal. This is another item that's very valuable. It's used in a lot of different things, different skins, different items, different stuff, different armor sets. And you can't, you can't buy this flat out and you can only make one a day. So that's the fifth item. So I always recommend every day, make sure you make these five items at, at least. Um, you're missing out on some very simple things if you can. Um, if you don't, let's say you don't have crafting yet, you don't have it up to there, you can still do this. This is The charged quartz doesn't require any crafting. You should still do this every day if you can as well. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's uh, the five simple crafting things that I do every day and I recommend anyone does if you've been doing if you're playing the game do it up uh, thank you for watching the guide I appreciate all the love I've been getting lately thank you for the likes thank you for the, su the subs I appreciate it a lot and I will catch you guys in the next video yeah till then stay super